Our next speaker is Stanley Appiah from Ghana. And you didn't let me finish. He is actually representing the <laughs> University of California, Davis. <laughs> Thanks for having me here. Today, I'd like to speak to you about a very important issue that Africa faces, the issue of electricity. I'm speaking on the theme, let there be light. <laughs> This is one of the biggest problems that we are facing on the continent of Africa. The problem of electricity. Adequacy, stability, reliability, and access. I want to introduce you to a phrase that has gained popularity in my country, Ghana. Dumso, which literally means off, off now. and on. Now, this concept of Dumso is coined from a local dialect in Ghana, which literally means off and on. And it's a reflection of the state of our power or electricity sectors in many parts of Africa. Is there anybody here who has ever had a long period of blackout in their lives? Can I see by hand? Wow, everybody. So it's not just a national problem. It's a continental problem. Like this little boy, at the age of 15, in senior high school, as an eager student wanting to take advantage of the night hours to study, I set up an evening study group. But our evening studies were thwarted because there were many long nights of doom so. No electricity, no lights. Though we try to make do with lights, with candles, with lamps, we are rendered ineffective. We could not take full advantage. And I think of millions of Africans who do not even have access to electricity. 600 million people on the continent of Africa do not even have access to electricity. To put it in perspective, this is nearly double the population of the United States of America. Think of ideas, creations, inventions that may never literally see the light of day because they are not connected, because they can't be seen, they can't be heard. 600 million people. Electricity creates opportunity, opportunity for quality education, opportunities in the agricultural sector, Opportunities in being connected to the world via the internet. Opportunities for cutting edge technology. Opportunities for quality health care. Here we see that several countries in sub Saharan Africa are in a very low zone of economic development. There is a, it is a fact that there's a correlation between economic growth, electricity supply, and its consumption. And we see that most African countries are in the low zone. How can we compete? How can we wrap shoulders with what we have called today the first world? I hope this is not your definition of quality healthcare. <laughs> here's what I think. I don't have all the answers, but here's what I think. I think that we need to see this problem for what it really is, a crisis, a national crisis, a continental crisis. I believe that we need to have an integrated, holistic, coordinated approach towards addressing this issue that will help bring Africa to the point where we can truly compete. And we need a cocktail, a mix 
of grid extensions where possible, mini grid solutions, off grid solutions. I believe we also need to harness and utilize our natural gas resources to fire our thermal power plants. I believe we need to remove the bottlenecks to solar power development on our continent because we have loads of sunshine and so many areas where we can take advantage of the sun's power. I believe we need to come up with creative ideas to be able to address the issues that our power utilities face. This is the part that I'm playing. Helping shape policy, helping shape policy towards for solving the problem of doom so. I want you to join me in this campaign that Africa will no more be known as the continent of darkness, but a continent of light. Let there be 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 light. I want you all to join me as we say, let there be light. Let there be light. This is just the start, and I invite you to join me as we have further discussions to go towards addressing the issue of electricity supply on our continent. Thank you very much. <laughs>